Hello everybody, welcome to FCM Ocos Benchant. This is Anemjo. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, there's something about us Kaiser Chiefs fans that is so confusing. Why am I saying so? We are so undivided and most of us, all of us, we want different things. I spoke about the video of why should management sign the players for the coach because by the time that he comes, he will come having the material that he needs. And some people are negative. And then now, I'm going to be attacked as I'm going to be talking about this episode where I'm going to be talking about players who are out of contract, that we've been told about, players that we all knew about, players that have been confirmed long ago. Some would say that, but why did we have to wait this long? If we really needed these players, why did we have to wait this long? Because some of these players, they could have, in their right, in, 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 in their right, they could have went and signed a pre-contract with any other team of their choice that they want. Others who said that, no, but no, I prefer this one. We should have given this one a contract and then not this one. And it would be like a tug of war. I wanted one, two, three to be given a contract extension. No, but this guy is not deserving. That one should be given two years contract. This one shouldn't have been given a contract uh, anymore. And then now we are finding ourselves in the situation where Kaiser Chiefs have spoken to the players and asked them that, you know what, according to us, this is now I'm interpreting this article, according to us, we don't want to really decide for the coach but this is me thinking some of you don't deserve to negotiate contracts and then you Kune for example Kune if we are all honest like we want you in a position of management now to be in that coaching uh, space to learn and take over one day and 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 but you are saying to us that you still want to play let's do this Kune let's just do this let us have a mediator who then be the one who decide whether you are in his you are in his uh, plans or not. But we can't decide. But for us, you know what you want, and you are telling us you want that. It's fine. Couldn't. Let's just sit down and wait for the mediator, who is the coach now, who will come to confirm whether he still wants you or not. But for us, we know you know where we stand and we know where you stand. But you know what? Let the coach decide. And it could be the same with other players who are injured. That the coach, the players, I um, mean, the management is like, you know what? Really, 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 when we are to tell the truth, you haven't earned this man. You haven't earned this contract extension. You haven't earned these talks. Because, I mean, if we are to, to be honest, how many percentage, how many percent of the games that you played this season in 30 games plus the tournaments? How many games did you play? Probably you played 20%, probably you played 50% for that matter. But is it justifiable? And what have you done to say, okay, you know what? We have worked hard to deserve this. If you are a keeper, how many clean sheets did you, did you keep in the number of games that you, you, you played? If you are a middle feeder, how many blocks did you have? Like if you are a defensive middle feeder, for example, or you are number eight, how many defensive uh, how many recoveries did you make? How many creation? How many goal scoring chances did you create? If you are number 10 also for that match. How many goals did you assist? How many goals did you score? If you are a winger as well, how many goals did you create? How many goals did you score? For us to sit down. If you are a striker, how many goals did you score? Because you know a striker is judged by the number of goals that they score. So let's be honest, how many goals? And if we are to give you a contract, would you, will you sign a contract with a lower salary? I mean, you're not deserving. You're not deserving to get uh, 250000 for that month. You're not deserving. So how about we give you uh, 225 for example, a month? Or we give you 200 a month because you're really not deserving. And really, when you sit down, we don't see you playing many games next season. But... And you are saying to us that you give you a two years contract because this is like your second last or if not your last contract. 
or even negotiating like a, a, a bigger salary, but based on what? I know I have an experience, but that experience, how are you going to share it with the young players? If these young players uh, uh, are performing, you are not playing even one game. Like such things, such things. So guys, I'm going to be just going through the names that you know. And then you tell me, you tell me if this player should be given a contract extension or not. But it's not for me to decide. But you know us as fans, we are coaches who don't have qualifications and we love this club players they come and go and coaches they come and go but we will always remain here until they do us apart with this team so we have right to voice out our opinions so i want your opinion i want you to comment i want you to tell me your thoughts what do you think and i'm gonna tell you what i think about these players so I'll start like this. Let me read the article. It's from um, so Disky Times. So Disky Times says that Kesa Chiefs have yet to officially communicate any incoming or outgoing player transfer as they continue to continue their pursuit of the new head coach. And let me just pause here. There are updates. I don't know how true is this, and I don't believe this news. I don't believe this news and I'll tell you why I don't believe this news. Nabi is going to be released or allowed to come and sign a contract after the semi-final. And my thing was, if he progresses to the final, if he progresses to the final, why don't you wait until he finishes everything, the entire season there, and then come and sign for us? Because he, it means like now it's a one horse man race, which means like Nabi is the only one who is in this race now. Pito is not going to be signed. Uh, Santos, we did not agree and therefore he has left. So there's no coach who is uh, coming with, uh, th there's no coach who's competing rather with Nabi. And Nabi, by the look of things, is going to bring three men. Remember I said that he's not going to give you, uh, he's not going to come with extra four men which is five with him but it looks like it's gonna be three people which is him and the two people that he's yet to choose but we don't know we don't know who's those people but most likely it's gonna be a goalkeeper coach and an assistant we don't know we don't know we don't know but it looks like nab is gonna sign on the dotted lines once as they say when it's semi-finals but i still say that after semi-finals but i still say that if it goes to the final what why would he rush? Why would he rush to come here uh, in a space of, if you can wait between, uh, let me see, if you can wait another week, is it worth it for him to come from Morocco to come and sign and then go back for the final? So I said to uh, Tsepo, my friend, I said that, you know, bro, it doesn't make sense for him to come uh, after the semi-final if he progresses to the final. If, if, if and only if he progresses to the final so by what i'm saying is that if he goes to the final let him come after the final it's not worth it like really it's not worth it it's really not worth it for him to come the side and then go back it's not worth it. and also we must remember that preseason needs to start it's gonna start early like other teams are coming back in the preseason on the first of july us will have to wait another week or two Another week or two for us to start our preseason. Who will take over if, say, Nabi says, you know what, I'm coming with my own assistant coach and I don't need Shepard. And there's no way that I want a Atazwan close to the team. And definitely, there's no way that I want CJ close to that team. So therefore, I, I would say that probably let these guys run with this program. I'm giving them the program to run. Run with this program where players uh, would be probably observed by um, one of the technical people that probably Nabi has agreed to work with, for example, and then let them eat these nutrition, let them do individual trainings, let them work on these things, let them do all these things, let them refrain from one, two, three. But I want them to be in a better condition, not in a good condition, because I mean, I know my coach and my coach will be the one, my conditioning coach will be the one who take them to speed. But for now, let them do one, two, three in the program. Could be those are the conversations about when will they touch football when they will start learning the patterns of how nabi wants to play when they will when they will learn which runs to make and which 
uh, when do you take such set pieces or who's taking such set pieces? Who's going to be the, the captain under, under me? Such conversations, but yeah. Anyway, this is what the Skitam says. Several players at the club are said to be out of contract. The likes of Fisosanti, Njabulo Mwabo, Higen Doli, Dwayne Kuna, Josh Michael, Sia Temba, Sitebe, and Dove, Edison amongst the names from the first team. Yeah, I'm not going to read the, read the rest of the article, but what I'll say is that Jabulo Mwabo is being taunted or is being said that Sekokune wants him and chances are He's going to go to Sukukune, but it could be with Sukukune. He's waiting because he was, rumors are, he was offered contract extension. And then Kaiser, Dr. Kaiser said, no, 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 no. Let's hold talks for now. Let's hold talks for now. That's a rumor that I hear that they said, no, let's hold talks for now. We're going to see after the coach comes. And then we are told that Kikin Dole is wanted by uh, Cape Town City. Captain City and Amazon. So those are the news that we are we are hearing. Those are the news that we are hearing. So the final or the semi-final is on the 23rd of June. And then the final is gonna be around 13th or so of July. So chances are, chances are we'll have to wait extra two weeks, if not three now. But if they are dropping out or if they're eliminated on the semif in the semi-final on the 23rd of June, that means that they will have enough time to work, so to say, to work in the preseason. And also, you must remember that there's no MTN 8 for us, so that will also give them time because you know that MTN 8 plays early in the season. So, such things will give the coach, but I'll ask you, I'm asking you now, please be patient with the coach. Give him time to form his starting lineup, to form his patterns, to have his own team and let the guys gel. Give the coach time to settle with the players to settle and with the new players to settle as well. But yeah, guys, let's go to the players now. Let's go to the players and then you tell me if we should keep or let go. Let go or keep. Keep meaning what? Contrast extension. So keep or let go. Sorry about that, guys. I just received a call. So, yeah, I mean, I couldn't resist this one. I had to take it. We're expecting some people to come through and help us with something. So, yeah, guys, uh, with the players that are leaving or whose contracts are coming to an end that the coach needs to see first before he decides whether they should be offered the contract or not, I'm going to give you their names, but with few players, as you know, as I told you that, Mm -hmm. I've already linked it to Sekukune. Will he sign for Sekukune? Will he say, no, I'm waiting for a new chance so I can impress the new coach? Or will Dolly stay? And then, or will he go to Skeptan City? Or will he go to Amazon? Like, yeah. So for me, you tell me if we should keep or let go. Like, don't sign a contract extension. Or we should keep, meaning what we should keep. Uh, we should give the guy a contract extension. So... Uh, for interest sake, probably can say a year or two or whatever. But yeah, main thing or the most important thing, keep or release or let go. Keep or let go. So you tell me, Fiso Slanti, for me, I would say let go. Let go reason being because Slanti has lost pace. Slanti has lost pace and his positioning has been poor. Uh, if his positioning was good and he was sort of like making up for his pace, I would have said that probably keep for a season. But Slant has lost pace and his positioning is poor. That's why sometimes the balls, they go behind him and you find the players or opposition are scoring. Oh, they are utilizing that flank to score their goals or to create chances. So I'll say let go. Like he, and age is not on his side. I think it's 34, turning 35 somewhere. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll say let go. Jablo Ngobu, one guy that all of you know that I love. So basically... Sure, obvious. Keep for me. Keep for me because I think this is one guy who hasn't gotten a coach who understands him, a coach who loves him, a coach who shows him confidence, a coach who will play him, uh, play him five games in a row, for example. Not a coach who will play him today and once that he has performed. And then once a guy who comes back from suspension or from injury comes back and then 
Jabulo is dropped to the bench. So I would say that this guy has been unfairly treated. His positioning is good. He doesn't have pace, but his positioning is good. And is one guy at the center back who can help us start the ball from the back. And if we are to say that we want a coach or that is a coach that who can play from the back or who builds from the back, Ngobo will be instrumental to make that come to pass. It will be instrumental to make that come to pass. But some of you don't see some of the things that I see. I mean, I'm not always going to be right. Like, there's no way I'm always going to be right. But give me one ball playing uh, center back that you have. If you say Simang, like really, is Simang a ball playing defender? Is he a ball playing defender that who can help us to build from the back? He might be, but not to the level of Ngobo for me. So Ngobo, I would say keep. Give two years contract. Keep. Give two years contract. And then we have Kick and Don. I would say let go. Why let go? Because he's the highest earner in the club and he hasn't really offered us anything. Like he hasn't really offered us anything in this club. Most of the time he's at the hospital nursing injuries. He hasn't really scored or created so many chances or assisted so many goals. So I would say we let go. Yeah, we will differ with Dolly because we, he's one player who divides uh, the fan base. It's fine, but let go. He hasn't really played so many games. There's no season where he has played more than 50% of the games. And he's the highest end. How many goals he created or scored? So, let go. Uh, for me, I'll say keep. But now, this would be between the coach. Like this, this is the decision that only the coach will have to make. Because the management say that, no, Kune, we have a position for you, waiting for you. And then Kune says, no, I still want to play. For him, for me, to see Kune playing for other teams, I would say if he still wants to play that much and the coach really wants him to, like, to stay, I will say keep Kune. Keep Kune, give him a season. A season or two. Or a season with option two. And so, keep Kune. For me, keep Kune. Because of his experience, his distribution, uh, Vuma and any other keeper who can come. Aha, let me just pause here a bit. Or should I just finish this? Let me finish this. Please, 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 please. Somehow, God, please remind me of this code, of this keeper. And then, uh, Josh Macho, my favorite player of all time. Uh, like current, attacking me feeder. This is the guy who's my favorite player. A uh, current attacking me feeder for me, who's the best. Keep, keep my toe. There's no player for me who creates chances or in the current team who creates chances as much. Or there's no player who checks back as much. Or there's no player who helps us to rotate the ball as much. Or who doesn't lose also the ball as much. Or in the current number 10 position. There's no player. So keep my toe. But unfortunately, I would understand if a coach says because of your injuries. Because it seems as if when I look at your health bill, you, you don't spend... You don't spend enough time playing on the football field, but you also like don't you spend enough time or you spend more time nursing injuries. So if the coach says that let go because of that, I would understand. I would understand. But for me, I would keep. I would keep. I would keep. But if the coach says let go, I'm I'm fine with that. Sitebe, let go. Sitebe, let go. Sitebe hasn't really offered us anything. And when he came back, fans were oozing. Ah, this guy like is the best number ten that you have. He has confidence and whatnot. But what has he done in our team? Like I think this jersey has been heavy for for him. So I would say let go. Someone said that no, but if the coach yes, whatever the coach decides, guys, I would support hundred percent. Even if it's the players that are saying that let go. If the coach says, no, I want this, I would support it. But I'm saying to you, I don't think that Sisi has done enough to warrant a contract extension. I don't think that he has done enough. I would say that we, we might as well go outside to buy another uh, number eight in the space of Sisi Or another versatile player. Dove Admilson. When we are to compare him with... Santi, obvious, keep. And he's good at creating and he can play. He's a versatile player. He can also play a centre-back, left centre-back. So I'll say keep, Dove. 
keep Dove, keep Dove, and the fact that he's um is an international player and con still contributing in the national team even now, keep him, keep him like he's good at going forward, creating crosses. He's good and he has a powerful shot in him. I'll say keep this guy. He's this is one of the leaders as well. So I'll say keep this guy. Yes, going back to the keeper, why can't you go for Offord? Offord has been released by Pirates. Why can't you go and sign Ofor? He's an international goalkeeper, knows PSL, and he's good at short stopping, he's good at penalties, and he's also okay when it comes to distribution. He's better than all the keepers that you have but Kune. He's better than all the keepers that you have but Kune. So why can't you go for him? Why can't you sign him? Instead of going for other Keepers out there who are available when you have like a young age. Keep. I would say go for him. Go for him. But guys, at the end of the day, it's not about me. Your thoughts. Your thoughts. Give me your thoughts, guys. I'm out. I enjoyed this. Please, guys, continue watching. Continue subscribing. I'm out. I'm going to see you uh, soon. I want to cover uh, news about Nabi. Uh, like why Nabi is the best coach for us. Why not is the best coach for us? I want to cover that next. When will I drop that video? I don't know. Remember that um, the season is over. And really, 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 like I said, I asked that. Can I be excused just a bit? But I've been trying to keep up. And also I had electricity problems. Like, yeah, it was a cable uh, that bent. So we did not have electricity for like five days. Like five days, do not have electricity. I couldn't record, I couldn't even shave, I couldn't do anything. So, hence why you're getting this video even today. So, and also, I'm going away this weekend. So, I would say probably I'll drop on Monday. The video will drop on Monday, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But, guys, I'm out. Let me know your thoughts and like, 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 like the videos. I appreciate you. Those of you who are liking, who are commenting, and who are sharing. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm out. FC, I'm a Cosven Chairman. Sunny here. Bye.